Hi! Hello lovelies, I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to my channel, my name is Hannah and this is the place where I watch basically whatever I want. And yes, welcome back 18. I am sorry for what is going to be transpiring today uh, because I've been filming a little bit today and uh, quite a bit as well yesterday um, to fill up um, what, I be, what I will be uploading on my break. And then I realized I don't have enough, and so I thought that I should um, do something that's been very highly requested, as well as something that I have wanted to do personally. Um, so, yeah, it is currently 8.30 p.m. It's almost 9 p.m. right now, and I'm filming very, very late. I usually don't film this late, ever. Um, but because of my need for videos. I thought that I should film right now. I'm feeling very good though. I'm feeling um, clear. I'm feeling like I'm here and I'm ready. Uh, I also had a very big dinner so I'm feeling good. Uh, so I don't think there's going to be any problems but just letting you know that if I'm a little bit chaotic it is because it is way past some y'all bed, some of y'all's bedtimes um, and probably my bedtime too because I should probably get up pretty early tomorrow. Um, but yeah, anyway, with that out of the way, with my personal, my personal problems out of the way, we are going to be checking out the SB19 Korea Times interview as well as their little uh, vote who is the most likely. I don't remember which channel has that. It's called like char like media something, character or something, uh, the channel at least, um, but we are going to be checking out those two together. The Korea Times one has been very highly requested, um, and the uh, little interview that I added on here because I wanted the video to be a little bit longer is my own one because I have seen it pop up everywhere and I thought it would be really fun um, to get some of their like banter between the members, uh, so that is why I decided to include that. Um, and. And yeah, the reason why I did two videos, first of all, is because I didn't realize how short the Korea Times one was. Uh, I was thinking it was going to be more like Tony Talks, where it's like half an hour, but it was only like 10 minutes long. So I decided to do both of them in this video. So we still have a little bit of a shorter video, but hopefully it's okay, um, because I just uploaded the promotional songs before this, and that video was like 110 or something like that. It was quite long of a video. Um, so I hope this is okay and it works out for you. Um, but yeah, sit back, relax. I got my water. No snacks right now, but I am pretty full right now, so hopefully we should be good. Uh, and yeah, you're been, <laughs> you've been warmed that I might be a little bit weird, be a little chaotic, but I hope that's okay and that's something that you enjoy. But yeah, that's all I had to say really. Let's go ahead and get into this and we're starting off with the Korea Times interview, one of the earliest that I believe SB19 did from 2018 or 19. One of those two. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's go. All right, lovely. So let's go ahead and get into this. This is called Post BTS K-pop inspired Filipino boy band SB19 goes viral. This is from 2019. That is correct uh, because they used go up in the intro for this video. And also I recognize the looks from this and this very much feels like that. Uh, so I believe this is like a little bit after they went viral on Twitter and everybody got to know them, uh, like their first impressions. So. Yeah, I'm very excited. I believe that there's no subtitles on this video, but I do believe that they're speaking mainly in English um, and they might be subbing if they're using any other language. Um, people recommended this one and that means that I assume that they knew that I would be able to understand it. So hopefully that is the case. Uh, but usually whenever things are not subbed and uh, you know, I won't have something to read. I'll just let you know that if I misunderstand anything that they're saying, I apologize. Um, but, you know, because of the language difference that we have, it can be a little bit difficult. But I don't know. This might be most, like, all in English, and I wouldn't know because I haven't watched it yet. Uh, but yeah, let's check this out and see what kind of uh, stuff we're talking about here. I'm interested to see what is going to be spoken about. Um, so yeah, without further ado. Let's go. Yeah, we gonna go up. Oh, 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 oh. Again, that vocal yeah, is go stuck up. in my head. It's playing over and over again. Mm -hmm. So today we have SB19, a Filipino idol. 
who Hi. have a very special and unprecedented background because they have been receiving hardcore Korean style idol training under a Korean management agency. So nice to meet you guys and nice thank you for your time today. So can hi. you say hi to our viewers? Get in the zone, break, high VR, SB19. Uh, hello everyone. Hold on, before everybody starts talking, I just want to say I didn't notice that Ken has like colored tips. Is his hair like blue on the tips? They are, right? I'm not seeing things wrong. Is, is it because it's late and I'm seeing things? I don't know. I don't think it is. It looks very cool, that's what I'm saying. Get in the zone, break, high VR, SB19. Uh, hello everyone. Hello. I'm the most charismatic member of SB19. My name is Josh. I am Hi. the leader of SB19. My name is Sejin. Uh, I'm SB19's heavily voiced. My name is Tel. Nice to meet y'all. Hello everyone. Ah. I'm the main dancer of SB19. My name is Ken. I'm the youngest uh. member of SB19. My name is Justin. So His voice shook my soul. These days. Can you feel that? That popularity? Uh, yeah, <laughs> sort of. But... Sort of. Sort of. Yeah, things change. Because before, um, we were just like, uh, we could ride jeep jeans and buses, but like right now, we couldn't even uh, get to like ride the jeepney and buses like a normal, normal person without uh, anyone recognizing our, our team. So That's when crazy. Did, when did this begin, like this popularity? I think uh, from what I know, uh, September 2, it was when we uploaded our dance practice video and then overnight, uh, someone posted it on Twitter and then um, a lot of people notice our group that uh, oh, the, these guys are great uh, uh, They're very synchronized and whatnot. So uh, we are really we didn't really expect anything at first mm. But we were so overwhelmed to what happened because like we didn't really expect anything We're, we're so happy and thankful to everyone. Oh, that's so sweet. I love his voice. Oh my goodness. I love just hearing them talk. <laughs> it's it's the the love has slowly grown over time for sure, and now that I get to hear them speak, it is very cool. Um, but yeah, again, I have talked about this multiple times, and I feel like it is still crazy to me every time that I think about it. That like it's because of a Twitter video, and that was the basis. I mean, obviously, people have come over the years for many other reasons as well, but like their first boost was that. It's really cool to me. It's really interesting, impressive, and such such cool lore to have you behind you, um, you know? Um, and also, I had something else I wanted to say, but I forgot. Yeah, it's so cute that they're like, people recognize us now. That's so sweet. <laughs> that just makes me very happy. Think about the activities that you're doing these days. You're getting busier and busier, right? Actually, mm. after we got viral, or after we got... What, what do you call this? Attention. attention. Uh, we are getting lots of TV guestings. We've mm. been getting lots of attention in the Philippines nowadays. We're planning to uh, have 10 concerts, 10 concerts for 10 different cities in the Philippines wow. nationwide. And it's going to be the first time that it's going to be for free. Yes, and we're, we're really planning it very well and we're uh, trying to prepare for it a lot. I heard your song and I saw your music video and I was very impressed. You guys are so good at dancing, right? <laughs> so the oh, practice, cute. The training must have been really tough, right? Tell me about that. About the training, actually, um, before we release our song, Go Up, uh, we make sure that everything was perfect. And we practiced our song 1,000 times before we, we release the song and the dance practice because yeah his hair is like blue at the tips that is really cool <sighs> this is like with other groups as well I love listening to them speak in English because it's like one-to-one -one communication you know I don't need uh, a translator to help me I can just listen to them and like understand what they're talking about and that is every, like so special every time it, I'm not saying that it's a better experience because I, in the end I just love listening to what they're saying um, but it's like with how long I've had to use subtitles for a lot of things because most of the time um, with artists you know they don't some of them don't speak English and usually um, they they need that help but whenever they don't and I can just listen to them talk it's so cool every time I don't know I know it's not an experience that most people have. Most people just understand whenever their artists speak. But 
it's different from me. <laughs> um, 1,000 times before we, we release the song and the dance practice because we want to show everyone that practice will never betray you. Oh. Oh, that paper, uh, every day we practice uh, 30 times, 30 times sing and dance. Sing and dance. Mm. Go up and then... That's like, okay, so 30... Let's say three minutes estimated time. I don't know how long the song is exactly, but let's say the song is three minutes. And they practice it 30 times. That's 90 minutes of just straight dancing. Not to mention any time they like, f like tried to uh, fix any parts or anything like that. But that means they're just dancing for 90 minutes. An hour and a half. On just one song. That's a lot. <laughs> They probably were, like, preparing other stuff at the same time. It's just, it's crazy to me to hear, you know? Anyway. We will put stamp every time we do runs. And then after, um, we will show it to our teacher and she, she will... will stamp, well done. Well done. Every day. Every day. <laughs> wow. So I heard that there were more members. And you know, they practice 30 times a day. That's a month? Yeah, almost a month of run-throughs. Even more than a month. <sighs> At the beginning, and the five of you... Like 30 hours? Tell me about the other um, dancing who left. Training for three to four years is really hard here in the Philippines without earning something. So, and here in the Philippines, uh, family is really important. You have to like give back to them the mm. responsibility to, uh, to help them with all the financial things. So maybe that's the turning point where they decide uh, I couldn't do this for this long. So. Yeah. so you guys receive a lot of comments. Because when you're a trainee for just like a little bit, like a couple months, then they're like, okay, we can let you do this. We can let you pursue your passion in the arts. But as soon as it's years without any payment whatsoever, and you can't juggle a job easily at the same time, you know, um, then it's when that's when it becomes like too much for a lot of people. Where they're like, I, I have I have no income, and I don't even know if I'm gonna make it in the industry at all. So should I continue? Like, what is the smartest plan here? And that's what most of them felt, obviously, and also the members who um, trained with them previously. That's probably what they felt too um but yeah it's int intense i forgot to mention er like uh, earlier um but if you want to see it i watched the tony talks interview um on um culture clash with casual truck and jay watt wyatt and uh if you want to see that then it goes a little bit harder it was longer of course um but if you want to see that then that exists as well so check it out if you want to from your fans that you guys are really talented compared to other Filipino boy groups, right? Mm. What do you think is the difference between Filipino boy groups and you guys? But we couldn't say that we are really better than them because we respect them as well. I, I mean, they're, they're uh, yeah, actually, we look up to uh, many artists in the, in the Philippines as well, so we don't we don't want to consider us as better group, mm. but all of us have different types of talents or, you know, uh, unique talents. Yeah, talent. very multi-talented uh, group, that's for sure. What is Filipino style? There's, we call it uh, hugot. It means like uh, we're trying to get from our deep, deep feeling. We, we're trying to express our deep, deep feeling regarding to love experiences and something like that. Filipinos mm. usually likes a uh, very emotional uh, thing like that. Sad, sad, sad. Yeah, I, I, I've understood that from a lot of you guys whenever you're like most and that might be because of my like personal experiences that like I can't really listen to a lot of sad music. But most of you guys who are from the Philippines who watch me for my SP19 comment my SP19 content who comment on my videos are always just like we love the ballads, we cannot like we cannot uh, get get enough of these ballads from them and I I've seen it as a trend you know it's really cool though specifically sad songs and then um, for oh the, the veins the single of our group uh, it's called go up yeah we gotta go up uh, one of my favorites still it's such a pretty song there came this point that uh, we, we have we 
almost gave up, almost uh, separated. And then we talk like, uh, maybe this is our last shot. This is going to be our last shot. And uh, like we we talk to each other. Let's get everything here. Let's pour everything here. So. And they made it. Make they did it. About the story of SB19. It's about reaching your dreams and your hardships and everything. That no matter what happens, like if you set your heart and your mind into something that you really want to do in life, you will be able to achieve it and you will be successful. And in time, everything will, yeah, <laughs> will happen. And speaking of that, tell me more about your hardships. Like, why did you guys try to split up? What we're trying to do is a new thing here. And uh, anyone actually here in the Philippines, uh, performing is not a practical way of l a living. Yeah. Other trainings that we had before, they couldn't uh -huh. handle the stress, they couldn't handle everything, and especially physically, you would be uh, exhausted in training as well. So mm. we're, we are not sure about this path. Uh, it's like we have this uh, saying in the Philippines, uh, suntok sabuan. It's like an impossible way of trying to reach your dreams. So we just tried our best and tried to luck and we just believed in ourselves. <laughs> so do you think you guys yeah. are getting closer to your dreams now? Yeah, we're starting now. We're starting. We are starting. They're on the they're in the starting point right now, obviously. Like this is the right at the beginning of them shooting up in popularity. Um but yeah, that's very interesting what Josh just said by the way. That like they're still like we're still kind of like we're not sure about ourselves even at this point like even though we're fam like quite famous at this point we're still not sure if this is going to work out because for many many artists it's not it's not work it's not worked out in the past that it's not been working out that's really interesting <sighs> we're still far for our, for from our dreams uh, but we are slowly Getting there, yeah. <laughs> so I want to see what you can show us. Oh, like, come on! You guys all have talents, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let, let's start from talent show. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even have to. We till the sun hides, cause the brightest stars are the ones who live in your eyes. But love dies. Where the pile look up to the sky. We put my knees in the ground. I keep on asking why. Oh. Love goes. Our... Was Love Goes released at this point? I need to remember the release order i don't know that's cool anyway main dancer, <laughs> main dancer. come on do a flip <laughs> he actually did a flip <laughs> hold on one more time one more time i was i was i said do a flip as a joke but then he actually went and did a flip next <laughs> is our Who's main there? dancer main dancer Me. let's go <laughs> We want to show the uh, our ballad song. Oh. Our yes, song. please. One, two. Unti unti lunuri na naging nadarma. O buhos na ulan, wag nang tumila pa. Paano nga ba mababawi? Labis na pagdurusa. You can see the interviewer was just in the field. She was like, <laughs> but I love every time they're like, let's sing Tila Luha. The other guys are just like, all right, we're going to get into our harmony. Like we're going to start singing the back. And they're just like, ah. well, he's singing and it's, it's so cool. <sighs> I love your voice. I love your voice. It's so beautiful. You're a great still Barry. Oh, I almost cried. Oh, oh, unrequited so love, right? Yeah. Wow. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, you deserve cute. more attention. Thank you so Actually, much. Actually, for for the record. Uh, <laughs> for the record? The lyrics. Yeah. We, we well, each other. Yeah. <laughs> well, you guys, write the song. Write the song. Choreograph the song. All of our songs we write. She didn't know that. Yeah. So uh, I always I feel like they talk they talk about it all the time, and I feel like unless you know zero about them, like 
You got you gotta know that. Just watch this show in Korea called Show Me the Money. I love that show. Show Me the Money. And uh, I need to watch that more. Up, uh, like joining the competition. So I tried to write a rap verse in Korean and English. What's up, non Pilipina? So what's up? I came here and then I saw all that's left to conquer. Woo! No panjagi, no mokori, no got be son accessory. Ain't got no fancy jewelry, ain't living a life of luxury. But from the southwest to this, I flew a from and took the risk. Biengi ganopi na jimo teso and yam yones kis mugo gitemuni ah. Wow. Let's go, Josh. Hold on. I was I was into that. Especially now with what he can do. It would be really cool if he was just like, sh he showed up to show me the money one day. I don't know if they even run any more seasons at this point. Um, I remember like one of the seasons that I remember was like, show me the money three, I think. I don't even know how many seasons there are at this point. Uh, but I would love it if he just showed up one day, honestly. <laughs> I mean, they're booked and busy, so it would be difficult, but, like, it would be so funny if he just, like, went in and was just like, what's up? Yeah, let's go! I need you, girl, where on the side of the on the summer, leave your hair. Get into it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Back it up, back it up. We need to see that little thingy they do one more time. Need to go. Do you get have into a it. Role model, like role model idol group, or what kind of group do you want to become? We have lots of idols, especially in Korea. Uh, personally, I like G Dragon. Oh, the common ground. <laughs> the common ground. As a group, we look up to BTS. Uh, for me, I love Zico. Ah. And yeah, I really like. <sighs> That's such good picks, man. I, guys, guys. K-hip-hop is a gold mine. <laughs> Check it out more if you would like to, because, like, damn, there's a lot of good artists there. Like, uh, GOT7. My favorite oh. member there is the leader, JB. What's the next Same. goal for you guys? Do you He's want my bias. to expand your presence in the world? Or, like, do you want to um, take on another challenge, like acting and all that Room. kind of stuff? What's your next goal? Uh, if we're given an opportunity to act also, we would love to do that. But for now, we're focused on um, promoting our music all over the, all over the Philippines. And hopefully, uh, if we're given the chance to perform internationally or globally, uh, we would be honored You've been doing to that. do so. We will always, always bring you good performances, better than yesterday. And uh, we will always be humble. We go up. And uh, we will always, always remember what you have done for us. And uh, we love you so much. I hope you keep on supporting us. We will go up. Cuties. That's fun. I like that a lot. Again, I didn't know, like, how what level of, um, like, uh, English there would be so I was a little bit nervous about it, but thankfully I did understand it also. That is very nice um, But yeah, that was really really nice and I Understand why you guys wanted to me to watch it because number one this is like it looks like they were just about a little bit done with the music video um, And so I you know, I understand why you wanted me to see it because it was like right at the beginning of everything and they got to give and talk about their own um what did you say? Like morals and their own reasons for being here and all that. So that's really interesting and really nice. And I am happy that I saw this. So very fun, very cute. Uh, but yeah, let's check out our next video now. Let me see what it's actually called. P-pop groups, SB19 vote on who's the most romantic, I think was the first one. Uh, and yeah, this is all just my own <laughs> volition because I wanted to watch this because um, I saw the thumbnail pop up and I was like, I really enjoy these types of games usually with my artists. So let me just do one of them like from from them and let me see uh, 
what kind of things they're talking about. But this one is only a few months old. Um, so this is them much newer, obviously, than this. This is four years old. This is like a couple months old. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to see what kind of now that they have grown a lot more, known each other for a longer time, I want to know what kind of banter and what kind of fun they get up to. Um, oh goodness. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into our next video. Let's go ahead into the uh, next next video. <laughs> let's go. All right, lovelies, let's get into our next video. This is P-Pop Group SB19 vote on who's the most romantic, who takes the most selfies, and more. This is from Character Media. That is what the channel was called. I don't know why I was like, Ugh, and I couldn't remember what the channel name is called, even though it was one of the most generic ones I've ever heard. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for this one. I think it's going to be fun, uh, and we'll get to see, you know, some of, I, I get to understand more of their personalities than I already have at this point. Um, and yeah, this has no subtitles on the video, so we'll see um, if they have actually subbed it in the video or not, if they speak in, um, if they speak in Tagalog. So just letting you know that if there's anything that I don't understand, I am so sorry, but because this is from an English channel, I hope that I'll understand everything. Let's just pray for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited. I think this is going to be fun. Uh, so let's get into it. And I forgot to put up the volume. So that's great. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's go. This will be unanimous decision. Three, <laughs> two, one. Ding, 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 ding. He looks salty ding, about it. Yeah, he doesn't ding, even ding, check. I'm a champion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the top, always at the top. I want to know what oh, they're talking about there. I'm Justin. I'm Pablo. I'm Stel. I'm Ken. I'm Josh. And we are... The difference between this video and the previous one, they look so, so different. <laughs> In a good way, obviously. Wow. SB19. And you're watching Character Media. Woo! That's what the game is called. Superlatives. Because they had done, like, BuzzFeed and other channels have done it before. Okay. Who takes the longest to get ready? Oh, yes. longest to get All ready. Right. Probably one of the long-haired guys. <laughs> Who's the answer? Me? Just <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. But he, he woke up late. Ah. Yeah. Um, he was week. on changing uh, his clothes. No, the drip is important, that's why. Yeah. The, drip the drip is important? Is that's why. I wonder what the reason is for Stell. Oh, oh, one point for him. Okay. Okay. One point for me. Point. Right, let's go. Okay. What is the reason for Stell? Does he just take a long time? I, I would guess it's probably with his hair or hair and makeup, most likely. That's why I see. Because he looks so pretty all the time. Yeah. The drip must be at the top. That's why I see. I wish I had that mindset. Because <laughs> I always dress poorly. Who takes the most selfies? Mm. That will be Josh, I think. Really? Uh, Josh? Josh and Stella, I think. I, I think don't it's even Stella. post a lot of pictures. Maybe the most... Post in this month. If it's about posting, then I'll be honest. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's me. I do see his pictures the most often on Instagram. So I don't know if it's just because the algorithm is basing it off of me or if he actually does take the most pictures. I wouldn't know. Um, but I see his pictures the most. It's tied between him and Justin right now. And I don't know if it's just good. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I see the two of them the most. <laughs> I love to take pictures of the places. S sceneries. Your yeah, beautiful the sceneries. Mm -hmm. Your sceneries. No, the beautiful beautiful no and Your because I need, I need to promote something. That's oh. why. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I'm promoting my, my show. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Right, of course. Totally. Totally. It's not because you're super pretty. <laughs> Who's the best at keeping a secret? Hmm. My, my I have no my, <laughs> uh, he just said Justin. 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 Yeah, it's okay. A lot of secrets for himself only. My, he, my secrets, dark uh, secrets. To be honest. <laughs> okay, they are subbing it. Thankfully, I was gonna. I was think. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep doing this at the continue on, and you might judge me for this because I don't know them well yet. But I'm just gonna guess what my guess is and then see if they agree i'm gonna start doing that continuing on i was gonna say justin though because i feel like he is the least talkative at least from what i understand he might be crazy 
in their other videos that I haven't watched yet. But from my understanding at this point, he's not as talkative as some of the other guys. But I don't know. <laughs> but I know all of his In our oh. group, he is the pure boy. Mm. Pure, pure boy, but because he's the most. <laughs> but in reality, <laughs> you have to get him. He just doesn't say it. Mm. That's why he's. Ah, oh, right. He's a pure boy because he doesn't let anything out. Who takes the longest to text back? Uh, this might be where they're mentioning Ken. Because that's what he was talking about, I think. I'm just going to say Ken, but I think they're going to say it. This will be unanimous decision. Three, two, one. <laughs> He's so salty about it. Our group chat. Ding, 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 ding. Doesn't even check. I'm the champion. <laughs> I'm at the top, always at the top. He's do they're doing it. They're doing it so he can get the most votes. Who's the best cook? I feel like I have I don't I have never heard them mentioned in the same space as cooking, so I couldn't really guess. But probably one of the older ones. Perhaps. I don't know. I'm 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 interested. John Cook. <laughs> our it's our sixth member, John Cook. <laughs> Oh, Stell, okay. Stell and who was it? Pablo, Josh. Oh, he just voted in himself. Okay. I didn't know that. That's very nice. Nice. Uh, I love a man who can cook. <laughs> this is why I shouldn't react to things at the at the late night. Late at night. I feel like I get super crazy. Oh, Stell. Oh, Stell's the best. Why not answer yourself? Yeah. Of course, I need to be, be humble. humble. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be humble. <laughs> it's okay, <laughs> King. You can say it. <laughs> of course, I know you'll answer yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? So you choose me so that uh, I, need, I need to choose other members so I, so I be you know, humble. Yeah, right. Who I understand. Oh, God. Based on just body, I would say... Probably Ken or Josh, but I don't know. Maybe one of them is really into like mountain climbing. <laughs> I I don't know, Josh. Ooh, is that me? Is that me? I think. Justin. <laughs> okay. Okay, they're saying Ken. Okay. Oh right, because of the basketball. That is right. <laughs> what is this footage? Okay. I was just, I just said that because I've seen Josh's body the most. And I know, I know about the basketball. Who's a phone addict? Uh, Justin, maybe because of the youngest. But I don't know. Josh? Oh! Me? Yeah, not. because most of the time you use your phone because you're working with music. No, oh. no, not, not that <laughs> Josh? I think it's Josh. I think it's really? Josh. You said this. Do you think it's Josh? I think it's why? Josh. <laughs> oh, no reason? Awesome. No reason? Okay. I wonder why. Who's the most romantic? I feel like all of them are pretty romantic from what they've been saying. From what I've seen and what they've said. Uh, I don't know. Romantic. Oh, oh romantic. 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 Let's get into it. Let's get some tea. Go. Oh, oh, oh my god, I got a chance. I, I answered Josh. Oh, I answered Josh. That's fine. Oh, 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 really? Yeah, I can say myself as a romantic guy, didn't I? Because I'm a romantic man. I can say myself as a romantic guy. Last time when we were in Chicago, <laughs> he asked me to teach him how to, you know, to say good things. Mm -hmm. things to our fans. Mm -hmm. Like, oh. how to say good things to our fans. Like, how to, you know, to say good things to our fans. Like, how to, that's why I chose them. Yeah. Because why? you're good at service no <laughs> i was gonna say still because i feel like he got he's got the flirty like look in his eyes whenever he's performing but that makes sense for pablo too because again he's the one who's writing a lot of their music so it makes sense that he's he's very he has a lot in the word bank you know i feel like he has good pickup lines when we when we're doing tiktok live he's like i'm um, doing his like punchline to our fans like mm. ones like that and he's good at that right now. All oh, right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job. Okay, we're pretty good with points right now. Pretty even. Who is the most likely to get emotional? Who's the most emotional? Who's I've seen? I've seen Josh cry the most out of all of them, to be honest. So I don't know. 
Josh and Paolo, I would guess. During a movie. Okay. Oh. Emotional God, no. during a movie. Mm. Oh, really? It's <laughs> Unanimous. I have not seen him cry that often, though. I'm sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm sensitive. <laughs> I'm he sensitive needs some milk. I'm, yeah, I'm, he relates <laughs> a lot. He easily relates to things. Ah, yeah. uh, he's got a. Who's the first person to hit the? He's got an open heart, you know. Okay, who's the first person to hit the dance floor? Oh, who dances a lot in content? I feel like this probably can. Dance floor. Uh, I don't know though. Oh, pretty. Yeah. Play music right now. I think it's I Josh. He get hyped, yeah. Right? When he gets hyped, <laughs> no. okay. he dance immediately and you yeah, can do yeah, that backflip. Uh, okay, I haven't got to change Pablo. Pablo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pablo? 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 Okay. Now he'll be hyped please up. Stop, it. <laughs> <laughs> stop <laughs> it, please. And they will hype him. I like actually that. <laughs> yeah, I think we're Josh. I think it's just because of the lifestyle. Because, yeah, so, like my family, my friends love, you know, like dancing, dancing and stuff. And he's also a dancer, so it makes sense. Who is having the best time on tour? Who's having the best time on tour? I wonder. I think everyone. I think everyone. I think everyone. But you know, who's having the, the best, best Yeah, one. I think it's the like Who's the best? Justin. Yeah. Like they're taking pictures of the scenery. When you visit uh, stockyards, it's about all about the experience and to try the culture. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Some of them, like, they bought the cowboy hats and <laughs> cowboy boots. Yeah, I enjoy stockyards. They look good with them. Of course, Napa Valley. We went to Napa Valley and then we... Wow, that's really cool. I feel like Stell and Justin are very, like, cultural... I, what do I say? They're very into, like, maybe, like, specific places. I don't know. But that's really cool that they got to go to Napa. Picnic there and drank some wine. Very nice shopping, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. All he did is to shop. This event actually this year was really amazing. I'm excited for this. Oh. Justin and Pablo each only got one. Oh. Justin is the best at keeping a secret, and Pablo is the most romantic. Wow. Sample. Wow. Sample. Sample. <laughs> 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 Why me? And then the giggle. He spends the most time on his phone. Oh. And he is the first person to hit the dance floor. Wow. And then Cell, so, you take the most selfies. Mm -hmm. You're the best cook. Wow. And you're most likely to get emotional during the And then Ken, <laughs> longest to get ready, longest to text back. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the most. <laughs> Worse too. <laughs> they like the other guys were pretty like. I mean, if you're if you count like taking a sec like holding a secret in like as a good thing, then that's a good thing. So he got the two worst ones. Yeah, at least one positive, one, positive. one good yeah, one. That's a good one. But job. I think that's just right. Yeah, that's very accurate. Just fits the right person. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, that was really fun actually. Hold on, let me see if there's anything I'm missing. No, okay. That was really fun. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, I'm just gonna pause there. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> Nobody really cares about it. Um, that was really fun. I didn't know what we would be getting into um, with this one exactly, but that was a lot of fun. I feel like I got a little bit of a deeper dive into whatever is going on inside the brains um, and that is very nice obviously as somebody who's still um, working through <laughs> working through their stuff um, it is nice to slowly be understanding them more and more as time goes on um, but yeah that was really fun again I hope you're okay with the fact that I watched this because nobody recommended it at least I think so um, so hopefully that was okay um, but yeah I would assume this was during their American tour then um, and they're currently touring right now, actually. They're in Japan, I think, right now and performing. So that is very cool. Um, but anyway, that was all I have for today. Thank you for watching. I now need to film something else real quick before I go to bed because, again, I don't have much time today. So I need to um, get everything done. 
in a timely manner. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, even though it was a little bit of a shorter video. I don't think there's that. It didn't. It did not end up that being that short. I think. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you for enjoying all of my recent SP19 content. It means a lot that you guys uh, are having fun with me. Um, that is a good indicator to me that you guys are enjoying it as well. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching, and I will say my final things in the outro. So yeah, let's go. All right, lovelies, that was all I had for this one. Thank you for watching. And again, sorry if I was a little bit intense, a little bit weird during this video, because now it has hit 9 p.m. and that is very, very late for me. Usually I never film like after seven, perhaps. So it is like getting into late territory, but I hope it's okay and I hope you enjoyed it nevertheless. Um, I just wanted to make sure that you guys had enough stuff to go go um, throughout when I'm away. Um, but hopefully this was fun and hopefully you enjoyed enjoyed it um, and yeah I don't think that when you are getting this I will basically be back I think um, so I'm back from break on the 8th of uh, 8th of April that is correct I think um, so I'll probably be back just a little bit after you're getting this video um, but I am still trying to figure out what I want to do next for SB19 because I um, have a couple things that I'm getting ready to kind of get into. Um, so we will see, but you will most likely be getting uh, some other interviews perhaps and also a sort of a finisher on the promotional songs because I um, do believe that I have quite a bit that is still um, not done by me that I still need to get to. So. That is probably what's going to happen in the future, but other than that, I don't really know for sure other than show break that it's going to be coming soon. Um, but yeah, that was all I really had. So thank you all so much for enjoying it. And thank you all 18 again uh, for all the support. It means so much. Um, and yeah, I will see you whenever I see you next. And I hope you have a good rest of your day. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and joining my little family here on YouTube. And if you want to as well, you can go onto my Patreon and support me there, but that is fully optional because all of my Patreon content is up for free. So if something is blocked on YouTube, then you will find it there. Um, and yeah, like this video if you like it. And if you have anything to request from SB19 or any other artist, make sure to leave it down in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.